So, uh, that's easier with max strength than max endurance. I do understand those of you at home may not be able to attempt that as easy. If you are really down bad on money, you can also loot, like, duffel bags. So I can put this in the duffel bag and then put the duffel bag here to make a little bit of extra cash. There's another scab right here. Oh, yeah, see, he's got a better backpack. Is that Sturman's guard? Hello? I, all right, I want to do the money making stuff, but this is so this is the weird stuff that generally if you want to survive and make money You don't investigate right like this is a weird situation right now I'm very confused by this scab because you look like a player and I need to know okay It's not so uh, we are on money making run so we're late in raid now. This is where we also get to make a fun decision. So we have just spent a lot of time in raid. Instead of us planning to get out in 10 minutes, now this is where you can start settling in. You naturally survived a raid. We bumped out of contact when we thought there was there was too much contact. Somebody left us tasty cereal. Everything's working out. We're gonna stay in raid longer, and we're gonna start. We're gonna play the raid. So this is what I mean by play the raid, not the wipe. If the raid, all you're doing there is grabbing loot and you've already made a good chunk of money, like we just did. If all you're caring about is making money, what I'm doing is the best way to do that, in my opinion. Because you have fun, and while you're you're waiting for the raid where everything kind of clicks, if that makes sense. So this raid, everything's starting to click for me. You see me, my... I'm flowing. Oh, Lord. Literally. For, as opposed to forcing. It makes for a much more enjoyable Tarkov experience. And it's how I'm able to kind of let go. I don't have it. I don't have a good quote off the top of my head. There's a concept of being. I'm, I'm a very stoic uh, individual. There's a concept of basically just giving in to fate. You know, you, you try to make the right decision in the moment, but ultimately there are things that are just outside your control. Coming down this way, instead of hitting the ammo, another thing you can do, and instead of hitting the center cache like I did, another way to play this is to come down over here, and there's a ground cache here, and we're gonna kind of turn this into a pseudo barrel run. Another cool tip on leveling skills much better pistol. Uh, as you are looting, that is a great time to repack magazines. It's probably something that will get fixed at some point. Maybe not. BSG is kind of all over the place with what's supposed to be a feature. Oh. Right. So we don't want to fight the Timmies necessarily. So we're just kind of going to let them, let them flow away. So this is what I'm talking about playing the raid. We're here to make money, we're here to teach about loot. We're not here to win. There's no winning in Tarkov. I set the rules for the game. I set the rules for the engagement. Yeah, the rip rounds are probably worth it to take. I'm, I'm setting the terms of the engagement here, not the other players, not BSG. And I wanna mean this in the kindest way possible, not however this clip is received by the internet. I play Tarkov for me. That's kind of one of the things I'm trying to express right now in the game. Oh, rubles, look at that. You know what, actually? I'm cool now. I'm cool. That's what's up. And there's my stats for anybody who, who wants to freeze frame and judge me for anything. If you have questions, I, I don't necessarily care about things in the stats screen from wipe to wipe. Um, there's certain things I do care about, uh, but it's, again, kind of like what I'm talking about right now. It's playing the raid. I'm, I'm playing it for a moment. I'm not caring about it for the entire wipe. It's not something I concern myself with. A survival raid, great example. What I'm talking about with skill leveling is repacking mags gives you skills. Alright, so there's a good chance also late in raid, this town has most likely been looted. Or picked through, uh, at least for the high, high value. Win. So we're gonna, again, we're going to pay right away and then keep moving on to loot. If you are somebody who has a bad judge of time, just keep double tapping O. This is the other area you can come over and loot. What a lot of people do when they come here too, is they hide here and they kind of wait. I don't know, there's a, look, there's a little armor plate thing here. What's the worst that can happen? What is the worst that can happen? Nothing's gonna happen to me right now. Look at that. Look at that. 
that one was a little bit longer of a rate, 20 minutes. And we're going to kind of see how that stacks up. Number one, we got a lot more scav kills. We're going to see what... Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, Mr. Sniper Scab. That is... That is naughty. This is naughty ammo. Very naughty ammo for a scab to have. We looted that off Sniper Scab, remember? Right. The, the only thing I have invested at this point is meds. And of those meds, the only thing is the AFAC. 